with a, a more easily defended city, you have an easier city to sustain and maintain. It's not your typical political campaign, but for Yuri Wench, zombies and urban sprawl go hand in hand. I've lived through a number of elections now, be they municipal, provincial or federal, and they can be pretty boring. And we wanted to just, uh, you know, inject some undead into the campaign to hopefully breathe life into it in a way. The zombie wall campaign is encouraging the voting public to think about strengthening Edmonton's core, bringing people back to the centre and limiting urban sprawl. The current council has talked a great deal about the importance of a vibrant downtown core. I would argue that it's difficult to make your downtown vibrant if you are tacitly telling people to live as far away from downtown as possible. In the 2010 Municipal Development Plan, the city set a minimum target of 25% infill growth in order to redevelop downtown and the mature neighbourhoods. There was a study that was recently released that found that in fact 86% of Edmonton's growth is currently concentrated in the suburbs and only about 14% is concentrated for infill. So what that means is it means the city is failing to meet its own development target. With the continuous growth of suburban development, it's worth asking whether the city is satisfying a demand or creating one. And if the focus remains on the new neighbourhoods, where does that leave Edmonton's core? The Edmonton downtown is pretty lackluster. It's, uh, it's not very vibrant at all. One of the things that we shouldn't be doing is expanding to all the suburbs and just spreading, spreading, spreading all our our uh, resources out that way. I think we should center it downtown. I quite enjoy the city and the city's core and I don't think there's anything missing when you go like to other cities, it's not any different. Yuri says he's not anti-suburbs but wants to see a more balanced approach to development. Edmonton needs more mid-range options between a, a, you know, a single family dwelling and a high rise. So I'm hoping that this stimulates discussion about how we can help meet that need. I think Edmonton could be a really incredible city if the city meets its development target. Sherol Tasaskiw, Go Edmonton.